What's up my fellow book nerds? Welcome back. Happy Friday. I hope you've had a wonderful week. Um, it is Friday evening and I am realizing that I have a relatively chill weekend ahead of me. So I thought I might try my hand at kind of a readathon. I've been seeing others on YouTube kind of breaking up a 24 hour readathon over the course of a weekend and I thought I might try the same thing. Although I'm not necessarily going to try to get to 24 hours. Um, I have three books going right now that um, I think I'm going to make it my goal to finish those up this weekend. And that's kind of a lofty goal for me because I'm more of a slow reader and um, and generally kind of take my time because you know I've got a lot going on and I don't always have you know, big chunks of time to sit down and read. So this weekend, I think I should. So I think I'm just gonna kind of keep track of the time that I spend reading, um, which hopefully will also keep me focused because your girl gets distracted when she's reading. Um, and then not a whole lot of reading actually gets done and it's kind of sad. So it's about 8.30 on Friday night. I have a print book, an audiobook, and a Kindle book that I'm working through, kind of all at the same time. So I'm gonna do what I can to uh, finish those up this weekend. The print book I'm reading is Take a Hint, Danny Brown by Talia, Hil Talia Hibbert. <clears throat> I always want to say Hilbert. <clears throat> the audiobook I'm listening to is Mr. Mercedes by Stephen King, and the Kindle book I'm reading is Phantom Limb by Lucinda Berry, and I'm really liking all of them. <laughs> Like, I want to be reading all of them all at the same time, but they're all so different. <laughs> so yeah, I think I have a good weekend of reading ahead of me. Um, I'm gonna hop in the shower real quick and then settle into bed to read until I can't keep my eyes open anymore. I will check back in once the reading commences. be pretty close to stopping here because I'm starting to nod off. Good night.
Good morning, happy Saturday. I had a little bit of a lazy morning laying in bed and it's about 9.30 now, so I'm gonna head out and walk my dog. And that means I get to listen to more of Mr. Mercedes. Um, I left off in a really good spot yesterday while I was working on my chores and I need to know what's happening next. So um, I think I have about five hours left of that audio. I've been listening to it on one on 1x speed when normally I listen to my audiobooks a little bit faster but the faster speed for this audiobook to me it made the narrator sound like he was speaking with a, a Donald Trump impersonation <laughs> and I just I couldn't take it seriously um, I slowed it down and it's a lot better I think that it was just giving me a hard time it was just making it difficult for me to get into the story at first so I'm gonna try I'm gonna try bumping the speed up again and see if that fixes it <laughs> but um, yes I left off in a really tense moment yesterday while I was finishing my chores and so I'm excited to pick it back up and see what happens so let's head out All right, I'm back from my walk I got to listen to about 45 minutes um, I did bump the speed back up and didn't have any trouble, so um, I think I'll be finishing it on one and a half speed. That means I have a little under four hours left of the audio to finish that. I did some computer work. I did some computer work. I had breakfast, and now I'm gonna sit back down to read Phantom Limb. I have let's see, three hours and thirteen minutes left in this book, so I'm gonna try to finish it in this sitting. We'll see. Fingers crossed. I'm at 2 hours and 14 minutes, so let's get going.
happy Sunday. It is kind of a late start. It's 11.30, but I woke up in the middle of the night, couldn't really sleep, so I ended up finishing Phantom Limb. And then I had to get up and walk the dog. So uh, dog has been walked, listened to a little bit more of Mr. Mercedes on that walk, and I have three hours left. Um, so I'm sitting down, I'm going to have some breakfast, and then I'm going to jump into taking it Danny Brown, and that's going to be my sole focus for today. So after I finish eating, I'm going to settle in to read. I'll check in with you soon. Also, my experiment to time and keep track of the time that I spent reading this weekend was a little bit of a failure because... I forgot to stop my stopwatch last night and so it ran the entire time I was um, playing games with my family and not reading so um, I'm gonna pick back up with it today and just deduct like six hours from my final total <clears throat> check-in it is late afternoon <clears throat> I have been in pretty much the same spot most of the day and we have beautiful weather today so I'm gonna take my book out into the backyard and try to get a little sunshine since it's been raining so much here lately and I think we're due for more rain later in the week so I'm gonna go soak up this nice weather while I still have it I probably won't get a whole lot of reading done because usually when I go out in the back to read um, my dog thinks it's playtime, so we'll see. But I'm about 100 pages in to take a hint Danny Brown, and um, I'm making good progress with this pretty quickly. It's, um, it's proving to be a pretty quick read, so um, that's a good thing. Sunday evening it's pretty late Sunday evening <laughs> I am close to wrapping up my weekend readathon um, my plan to keep track of the time that I spent reading this weekend ended up being a bit of a flop 
I don't know how those of you who do the 24 hour readathons remember to keep track of your stopwatch and your timer. <laughs> like I said, I left it running last night for about six hours when I wasn't reading and then there were a couple times today when I forgot to start it and so then I just kind of gave up on it. I have been humbled with my reading goals. <laughs> I finished one book, I finished Phantom Limb, and I made really good progress in the others. However, did not finish all three like I wanted to. But I'm not quite ready for bed yet, so I'm gonna, um, I'm still gonna read a little bit in Take a Hint, Danny Brown, before I go to bed. And that one's actually moving really quickly. Um, even though the chapters are a little bit on the long side, the pace of the story is moving really quickly, and so it's not taking me as long to get through a chapter. Um, but I'd say I probably still have about an hour of reading in me tonight, so that should put me a bit closer to the end of the book. Um, I fell victim to distraction and napping, <laughs> and so I didn't get quite as much reading done as I hoped this weekend. But Still, I was very happy to have a weekend with no major obligations and just got time to sit and lounge around and read and be generally pretty lazy and unproductive. So it was much needed and, and I very much enjoyed it. So thanks for sticking around. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, happy reading, nerds. I started to develop a theory earlier today that the twin sister isn't really alive because of the interaction with the main character and her therapist. When she mentioned her sister, the therapist looked at her and didn't really acknowledge what she had said about the sister. So I started thinking maybe she's not really alive and is like this figment of the main character's imagination in her grief. But now at this point, 26% through, I'm 26% I'm of the way in and now I'm pretty sure that that's being disproven. But something's not right there.